felt so so embarrassed and disgraced. The prince even left in, ang in anger. And you know what I mean for us? Trouble. I mean double trouble. Hey! Ugachi! Ibuanami! You will have killed me! Ugachi! Are you mad? Eh? Are you mad? Ebele! 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 Go to to leave my house now. I cannot have a disobedient daughter under my roof. Never. If he said I should leave your house, no problem. But I will never marry the prince. Hmm? I'm in love with Afam, and that's not marry. Did you hear that? Hey! Did you hear? Who got you? Come here! Who got you? Come back here! Let me go. Let me go. Leave her. Let her go. Woman, go where? Where did she know? Tell me where she like. Let's hey, go. Where at night? Where did she know? I don't the care. The only hope I have on earth. I will go after her. Ebele, if you go with her, remain there with her. Don't yes, come back here. yes. Yeah, I'm going with my daughter. Yes. I am going after her. Don't come back here again, no. I will not. Remain in your father's house. Yeah, I'll tell him. Your Highness, may you live long. Oh, forging. <laughs> Finally. How are the mighty fallen? Yes. <laughs> I can see you brought me here to gloat. Far from it. I brought you here to face the same punishment you gave my son. Yes. I brought you here to reward you for your insolence. Yes. I can see that you are. Even more foolish than I thought. Huh? Yes, for thinking that holding me hostage will stop my people from demanding and seeking for their rights. Their rights you must be joking. <coughs> that land rightfully belongs to our people. I gave you an opportunity to retrace your steps oh. and to acknowledge my superiority over you, oh. but you turned it down. Can you imagine? I asked for a simple thing. The land that rightfully belongs to my people. Oh. That they should farm on it for one more season. Just one. Just one more season. But you wanted to prove to me that you're smart, you son of a pauper. Oh. I can see that you talk garrulously like a woman. Huh? <coughs> Better get on with what you brought me here for. Because I can't stand the odor oozing from your mouth. How dare you? How see where? My king. Get this idiot out of my sight and lock him up. Yes. Remove all those cheap beads that he's wearing. Make sure he gets he gets the treatment he deserves. Yes. I will decide on the series of punishments he'll pass through. Yes. Oh. Get him out of my sight. Oh, so you still haven't decided. Dull out of a king. Stubborn goods. We should be getting ready for these people of Ukogwe. I mean, they will plan to attack us now that we have captured their king. Let them come. We are ready for them. Yes. yes. We will raise the entire oh, I trust you. No more nonsense. I know yes, what you can yes. do. Hey! Hey! hey. You can't just embark on this suicide mission. Then let me die. I am ready to save my father. I know. We will rescue your father. Then let's go now and rescue my father. I cannot stand him going through such torture. We need to go and rescue him now. We need to save him. You owe my father that. I know. But we have to prepare and go with the rest of the warriors. We can defeat all of them. No, my princess. We cannot embark on this suicide mission. Remember, you are an heir to the throne of Ikogwe. 
and your mother has been crying her eyes out with worries about you. Let us go, my princess. And prepare for another day. No! 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 Elders of Ikogwe, I urge you people to go look for my husband because you cost all this. Eh? Yes, you cost it. My queen, how do you mean we cost it? Were you not the ones that encouraged him to plan for war? Were you not? I begged him as a wife to allow people for Alumona the chance to farm. No, my queen. No, it is unfair and wicked to our people. Mm -hmm. eh? If we had allowed that, what do you expect our people to eat? I wonder. I suggested he dialogue further with Igwe and Joko to see reasons with him. But instead, he planned for war. And you all supported him. Look where it has gotten him. You must provide for my husband though. You must provide him. Calm down. Please calm down. We are here to deliberate on this and to know the best approach to it. Please. Um, by the way, where is the princess? That's another problem. She left immediately she heard what happened. Yes. I fear she's heading to Alumona. Ah, that is a suicide mission. It's dangerous. Eh? And the people of Alumona, we will we, we, be waiting for them. Eh? Okay. Oh, oh, Haji. Don't be good, sir. My child. Oh, my daughter. Don't be good, sir. My queen and elders of Ikoma. The warriors of Alumana took us by surprise and made me away with our king. But I assure you that our king will be brought back to his people. For no matter how thick a forest can be. An elephant can never be missing without a trace. Oh, <laughs> gentle tiger. I appreciate your efforts. Please, do whatever you are able to do. Our people are dead with worry. If anything happens to our king, it shall be very devastating on our May the ghost forbid! Nothing will happen to him. I said nothing! <laughs> Namdi, nobody is safe any longer in our village. Imagine how our Igwe was taken away from his palace. They supposed say first place in our kingdom. My brother, that was so ridiculous. I just wonder the type of guard he kept there. That could not even protect him. Only the gods know his fate now. And that of those men that went to rescue him. I just pray the whole thing works out well. Same here. How I wish we were trained warriors. I would have loved to fight for our people. <laughs> my father will cut off my head on hearing me say that to him. Just anchored my feet on the gods for protection. Please, I want water. I'm thirsty, please. Shut up, you old fool. Before I slice your throat open. Don't be wicked like your employers. Give an old man water to drink. What is he demanding for? My princess, so I should give him some water. Oh, water. <laughs> He needs water. You need some water, old man. Yes, please. What? Oh, he really needs water. Obi, the old man wants water. I can see that in his eyes. Uh -huh. really yes, he's very obvious. He's looking pale. Yes, like he needs his thirst assuaged. You have a boy in this water. Just give him water. <laughs>
Thank you, princess. Oh, you wicked fool. Oh, may your testicles wither. I should have killed you when I had the chance. Oh, that was in the past, old man. We have you now, and you will suffer. Oh, I can't even believe it that my daughter pleaded me on your behalf. <laughs> I'm sure she did not even know you had a beast resident in you. You are just a beast. Oh, wicked man with a kind hearted daughter. Your daughter is nothing near to you. She's different. You are nothing but a gruesome murderer. And you suffer your sins. May the gods punish you. I curse you for toying the same evil path of destruction with your father. You will reap what you have sown. You are reaping what you've sown. Shut up, old man! Shut up! So you still have the match to talk. Little witch. Who has time to exchange words with him? Who has time to bind the words with a wretched old wicked fool that will die soon? Please let's leave this place. Sweet sister. <laughs> You will not go to see my face. Yeah, woman, Mary. They will give you your name for water. You will suffer the same fate. May your children urinate on you. May you not see the number of days I have seen on earth. <laughs> Elder Sakwe, thank you very much for all the information you've been supplying me to help me deal with the forging. You have proved yourself to be a loyal servant. Thank you very much, my king. I shall continue to serve you for as long as, my king, you keep to your promise. Oh, I never go back on my word. What I have promised you, that will I do. You will not regret your loyalty to me. Thank you, my king. My family? Your family? Your family will not be touched by anyone. See? Once I take over the entire land of Ikogwe, I will get you into the cabinet as they know. You will be my eye in that land. Hey, thank you, my king. Thank you. Oh, well. hey. Now tell me, what are they planning against me this time around? My king, war. War, my king. When are they striking? I don't know. I don't have information as to that, but I shall get you information. As soon as I get information, I will let you know. Do that so that I will be ready for them. Listen. You will not regret your loyalty to me. You will be adequately compensated. I have prepared and packaged enough food and provisions for you and your family to last you for some weeks. Hey. With the guts. Go and meet them. They will give them to you. Oh, my king, I thank you so much. Oh, your benevolence has no boundary. Oh, thank you, my king. Can I go and see the guards now? Yes, go and see them. They're on break now. They're at the backyard. Thank you very much, my king. Live long, my king. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> they are guards. <laughs> Okay, ma. Nani. Bring my food now. Huh? No, please, I am coming. You go come or bring my food. <clears throat> Nani. Mm -hmm. I've been meaning to tell you something. The issue here is your relationship with Igwe and Joko. What about him? Nah. I'm beginning to sense trouble. That man is not someone you can trust. Considering the way the two villages are now. Hell, why is it that you women think through the Enos? Mm -mm. Hmm? 
I am not complaining. Why must you complain for me? So, look at you. Now, Cha Putoki Putoki, you are shining, and looking fat. Have you ever bothered to ask yourself how I or Sakwe get the money to feed you and feed you well? Yeah, mind yourself. Hold yourself, fool. Let me enjoy my sweat, Biko. Hmm? Nah, we are not quarreling, no. I'm only expressing my feelings. Yeah, take that your feeling inside, Biko. And let me enjoy myself. Tuzu, go here. Your Highness, please stop crying. Stop crying, Your Highness, please. What is going on? Leave us. Mama, what is it? Why are you crying? Um, Will you get your filthy hands off me? I thought you were different from your father. Why did you allow him to corrupt you instead of resisting him? Mama, my father never corrupted my mind. Instead, he opened my eyes the more to see how wicked this man is. Mama, do you know that this man locked me up in a cage and tortured your soul like an animal? How about forgiveness? Obiungwa, how about forgiveness? See, you talk like this because you're not there. You were not there to see what I went through. I almost died. If not, the daughter saved my life. That is more reason why you should have forgiven the man. His daughter has proven to you that you don't have to be an evil person like your father. You have your life to live. The choices you make shouldn't be like your father's. I see nothing wrong in what His Majesty has done. If you knew what happened in the past, you will know this man deserves every punishment he's getting. You still have not told me what this man did to you. Obinwa, I hate you. I hate you for believing everything that came out of your father's mouth. I thought you should have known him by now. That your father is a deceiver. He is a deceiver. You should have known that. Obinwa. You have ended up corrupting my son's mind. You will suffer. Yeah, have fear. Wicked man. Please, my daughter. Be calm, ma'am. Eh? Listen to your mother. Be cozy. Mother, mother, please. Why are you stopping me? Is my father the king not worth saving? Please. Just I don't want you risking your life for his. Huh? People, I love you just as much as I love my father. And I cannot sit back and allow him to suffer. No! Thank you, people. I am more than capable. And I am ready to give the people of Alumina war if they don't release my father. My daughter, your life is too precious to our people. As the future of this kingdom, what if anything happens to you? Nothing will happen to you. And mother, please, stop talking about a future we are not even sure of. I want a future with no trepidation for my people. I like you, mom. I know I'm among the rest of the warriors. Can save your father. If anything happens to you, I will kill myself instantly. Nothing will happen to me, mother. I assure you that nothing will happen to me. But I have to do this for my father. I have to go. All right, all right, you want me to do this? All right, all right, you want me to do this? All right, you want me to do this? All right, you want me to Someone should talk to Mama. She's trying to provoke me. Someone should go and talk to her, make her understand I am not her baby. She should leave me alone. Bobby, if you ask me, I will, I will say you choose to be upset. I have told you to learn how to ignore her words. Or better still, do not give her the opportunity to sit with you. Learn that. You have to learn that, brother. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, yes! What nonsense is this? Uh, princess. What is Papa's next plan? Mm, well, I've not asked him, but I think we have them where we want. 
one of their cabinet members is Papa Spy. And um, he is faithful. His information are accurate. So we have our eyes on them. Mm -hmm. This is good. I mean, this is wonderful. Oh, yes. Papa is such a genius, you know. Mm -hmm. That is why you should learn from the best. I think I am. I am gradually, as a matter of fact. So your mother said you can't come with us. She said it, but I insisted. Oh my princess, you should know the danger. I and my men can handle this. I need to go to ensure there is no mistake. Let's not fit up for that. Let's go. Do I look like I'm ready to go back without my father? <laughs> if you insist. What? <laughs> <laughs> They are preparing for war, just like we suspected. I suspect they went on an errand for their king. All of them, this is not right. So what do we do? You, 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 you. Go this way. My princess, go to me. Be on guard. No, my friend. You shouldn't have allowed her to leave. Mm -hmm. I tried. I trust her. But you know how stubborn or distant she can be. She insisted on quitting. I hope she's safe wherever she is. My friend, there is nothing we can do now. She might have gone far with the warriors. Eh? Let's just pray as she is safe here she is. I have to go and save the child first. He has to help me let the go. He's still my only child. My friend, let's be optimistic. Let's just be optimistic that they are going to come back. Okay. Oops. Meanwhile, let me go and see the rest of the elders. Let me wait for them to come back. Thank you for stopping me. May the gods be blessed you. Bless you too. Gods of our land. Papa, why would the princess take such a risk? Why did the Queen Mother even allow her? But she said she tried to stop her. But she refused. You should know that she is stubborn. Very stubborn. Like father, like daughter. Gods of our land. 
Please protect her for us. We don't want anything bad to happen to her, Papa. Papa, she's more of a male than a female. The girls would have just made her a male. Papa, I fear for her life. I really do. Nothing will happen to her. Do you hear me? Nothing will happen to her. She has the heart of a lion. Don't have any fears. So now so. go back and start doing what you have been doing. Papa, I hope so. Work. I hope she comes back. She will come. Ure, my daughter, please. I want you to stop being like this. You're a woman, and someday you're going to be a mother. This is your father's footsteps you're following. will lead you to nowhere by destruction. Please, I want you to plead with your brother and your father to release Igor Forge. Biko, he has suffered enough. He might even die in there. Oh, that is my greatest desire, mother. To see him back for that and there. No one crosses our path and gets away with it. We have to teach him never to mess with people like us again. That is, if he lives to tell the story. Ure, what is wrong with you? Are you really a human being? Are you? Well, um, I have better things to take care of than stay here and talk with you. Excuse me. Goals of our land. Omomolongwa! How are the mighty fallen? Great Igor Forgy of Ikogwe Kingdom. See how you are being ridiculed. But you know what? You deserve what you are getting. God! Yes, Your Highness. Flogging without mercy. No! Don't do such a thing. I am royalty. Don't do that. Ah! Ah! The God will never forgive. Love him! Ah! Ah! Stop it! Give me that. The girls will never forgive you for this. Let my father go. Oh. I'm a man. Why? Why? She insisted, Your Highness. I couldn't stop her. Oh. My princess. What an unparalleled love a daughter has for her father. <laughs> oh, Forgy. She came to save you. I said, let him go now. Why would I do that? Will it efface all the insults he poured on me? No. Or the punishment and torture he gave my son? No. Take me in this place. And let him go. My father is too old to go through this torture. <sighs> what a kind-hearted princess of a condemned village. <laughs> it's you and your people who are condemned. Huh? How dare you talk to my father like that? dare you lay your filthy hands on my father? Where is your conscience? I spared your life and I expect you to do the same to my father. I'm sparing your life now because of that kindness. Otherwise, you would have dropped there instantly. And don't you dare talk to me with such disrespect. My princess. Please. I beg you. Let my father go. He's too old to go through this, I mm. beg you. Mm. Obi Wan, I know you have a good heart. I know your heart is not like your father, and you're not in support of this pain and torture my father is going through. Don't fritter away your strength, my daughter. 
He has already bought the conscience of his son the way he has done for this old man who are in disgrace. Agotawarawa. <laughs> You talk of disgrace when you have the most disloyal set of council members and more are willing to betray you. Father, why don't you surprise him? Bring the traitor here. Yes, Your Highness. My king! My king! Oh, shut up! I, I thought we had an agreement. Oh, sir. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm all right, Mama. Nico, Nico, please. Please forgive me. What's My king, we had an agreement. Nico, Nico, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Nico, Nico, please forgive me. Have you seen the kind of hungry cabinet members you have? Hey! More are willing to betray you. Exactly. Mm. Don't worry, I'll punish him for you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You may please not kill me. My king, please. We had an agreement. We had an agreement. Please. Stay alive. Stay alive. Greedy fool. Good riddance. Son, father, now it's your turn. <laughs> Your father deserves all the punishments we are giving him. It is time to pay the ultimate price. Oh, Obi-Wan, please. Do it, son. Do it for your grandfather. Obi-Wan. Obi 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 yes. What did you tell him? Shut up. Thank you, please. Obi, please. Obi, do it. Do not listen to her. Do it! Obi, do it. Do not listen to her. Uh, uh, oh. Let the war begin. Kill every soul you set your eyes on. Mm. 
Hmm? I feel like drinking to stupor. That's so how happy I am today. Me too. I'm very, very happy. You see? I have given that man what he deserves. And I know our grandfather will be so glad because we have honored him. Mm. Wherever our grandfather is, I'm sure he will be very happy. Yes. He will be proud of us. Mm. Obi, mm. I am not seeing a brief and no nonsense king of Alumona kingdom in you. Oh, thank you very much, my lovely sister. Mm -hmm. Mm. I want to drink for Nati tomorrow. Eh? Mm -hmm. Hey! I hope we we'll still see how more drinks here. I could have vouched that I know you too well as my son. But the person I saw today was a monster. Mama, what, what is it? You murdered an innocent man in cold blood. That's what the problem is. Mama, that man deserves to die. Including his people. Do you know how many innocent lives that have been wasted right now? How could you agree to genocide? How could you? That was my father's decision, not mine. Were you not there when he was giving orders to his head guards? But you kept quiet. You kept quiet, showing that you were in support. Obiwa, how could you? How could you, Obiwa? When did you become this monstrous? I killed that man to honor my grandfather. To honor your grandfather? Oh, yes. That man, that stupid man of forgery killed my grandfather. Are you not aware? Is that what your father told you? Where is he? Where is that one? You beast. Now I know what you told our son that made him change. How dare you call me a beast? Njoku, I will call you a beast. I will call you any name that I like. You lied to our son that his grandfather was murdered by a forgery. Were you there when he died? Of course I was here. And I know he died of a strange ailment. Well, it was a forgery who killed him. You lie. Njoku, you lie. You deceived our son that he avenged his grandfather's death. Let me tell you something. Whatever I choose to tell my son is none of your business. You succeeded in your plans. Go ahead and clap for yourself. You heartless mudra. Fool. Njoku, you are a disgrace. You are a disgrace to the throne you sit on. And you will surely suffer for your atrocities. Me? Yes. How dare you insult me again and again? How dare you? What else can you do? What? Get out of my sight now before I strangle you to death. Get out. Njoku, this is the last time you're going to hit me. Because I've had enough of rubbish from an evil man like you. I'm warning you, Ugochi. Beware of the inferno you have raised. Lest it consumes you. What if he me? Njoku, he man make back rubbish.
Now I wish to repeat myself. Can someone tell me why your faces are so moody? Papa, I can't believe this. Papa, I can't believe that Mazio Sakui could be like this. How could he betray his own people? His own people, Papa. Oh, that. <laughs> My son. It's greed. Yes, greed. The same greed we've been talking about. Hmm? Hi. Well, it still serves him well. He has paid with his life. What a disgrace to this kingdom. Papa, look at what his greed has cost us. Just look at what his greed has cost us. Oh, our Igwe. His kind-hearted Lolo and others. Papa, I just feel bitter. I'm bitter. I cannot stop imagining this. The whole thing happened so fast. Just within a blink of an eye. Hmm. Well, I keep telling you. That is why I keep telling you. That it is not good for a man to be greedy. It is not. Now all we are passing through now is as a result of his greed. I think you know that. I keep warning you. Greed. Greed is bad. Greed is a canker worm. Anyuku, anyuku ajoka. This is from it. And you will live long. Do you hear me? Yes. Papa, it's okay. It's just that I feel so bad for her. But it's okay, Papa. Everything will be fine. Here you are. I've been searching for you everywhere. You are not safe here alone. I'm not afraid of anything. The gods have done their worst already. I'm sorry about what happened. I need to retrieve my father's corpse from Alumona village. I will do that. But you have to go on with life. Please. I need to hold my father's corpse in my hand before moving on. As I promised. I would do that, but let's go home. I can't go home. There's no one to go back home to. You still have some guards over there. I wouldn't mind coming over to the palace since I lost my entire family to the Alumana warriors. 
Will this ever be over? I believe so. But we have to count our losses and look for a way to make a reprisa. What about the dead villagers? Have they been buried? Almost. The remaining ones will be buried in the evening. My princess, I think we'll go through this. It's okay. Do not cry. <laughs> Namdi, Jeka, Namdi, what is it, Timon? Namdi, I'm finished. Namdi, I'm finished. Toby, what is it? What is the problem? Namdi, I'm finished. Calm down, calm I'm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Eh? Calm down, down. relax. Eh? Some villagers told me they saw my mother walking aimlessly down to the river, and they suspected something. So I had to rush. Before I could get there, my mother had already jumped into the river. What? And she got drowned. My mother is dead. What? Namdi, I've lost my mother. My mother is laid down. Are you, are you sure? I saw it with my two eyes. Oh, my mother. Do such a thing now. Oh, my mother. My yeah. mother. My mother. Oh, my mother. Oh, my mother. Who will be my mother? My mother. My mother. My mother. I told her not to. I didn't know she would leave me like this. My mother. I have never been insulted the way your mother insulted me. Don't let it get to your father. Just don't mind her. Hmm? <laughs> Mother, what is, what is this? I mean, where are you going? Mother. Where are you going? Where do you want to live? Please stay. Abmaka, Obi, leave her alone. Let her go if she wants to. Mother, you know what? You can go for all I care. Stop. Mother, why do you want to do this? Why do you want to leave? Who are you leaving me here for? Please, I want you to stay. Okay, if you leave now, what do you want me to do? I want you to stay with your evil father and enjoy his wealth, since that's the life he's chosen to live. But I just pray it won't be too late for you to start realizing that you've made a mistake. Mother, please don't talk like this. We are family. Ifa, family nebe. Oh, you call this family? A family where I cannot control you, my son. A family where he beats me at will. Or not about family. It is better I go back to my parents' house and spend the rest of my life instead of staying here and dying here because I want to answer your queen. Mother, watch it! Watch your mouth, mother. Stop. Watch it! Hey, you know you can. You cannot blame me for my action. There's nothing wrong in avenging my grandfather's death. Obi-Wan, everything is wrong with it. Everything is wrong with it. Your evil father lied to you. You stupidly agreed. He lied to end your trust and support, just like your sister. Because he knows you will not do so unless he tells you something compelling. You've been deceived, son. You've been deceived. Woman, watch your tongue. Why are you disturbing the peace of this palace? You want to go back to your parents' house, right? Yes. I will not stay in this house with a murderer and a deceiver. Go and never come back. You! Hey! Drop that thing! Maid! Go back here! Mother, go! Just go! Father, why are you doing this? What is all this? You should be begging her to stay, not chasing her out. Mother, 
Obi, what would you have Papa do? Eh? What would you have him do? Can't you see Mother's mind is made up? Ask him. She has already taken her decision. I don't see anything I can do to make her change her mind. Let her go, son. Let her go. Very soon, she will realize her mistake. Everything I have done is in the interest of this family and the people of Alumona. If I am wrong, let the gods judge me. Did you see a tall, dark boy? Huge, huge. Yes, huge. Yes, I saw a huge young man walking down the road with a rope. Rope! Hey! Stay back. Neka, please. Don't come near. Stay back. I need to do this. I need to do this. Shimobi, no. Drop the rope. Drop the rope. You cannot do this to yourself. Shimobi, we love you. You cannot kill yourself now, please. Neka, what am I living for? I don't longer have anybody. As day goes by, the pain is becoming too much for me. Allow me to do this. Please, you guys should go back and allow me to do this. You will be calm down, please. You cannot kill yourself. You're like a brother to us. Please, you cannot kill yourself, please. <laughs> Please, Please. Chimobi, you are like you are like a family to you. You can't do this to us. We love you, Chimobi. Please. I don't have any reason to leave. All right, all right. Careful, careful, sister. Yes. Can you check the food now? I'm really famished. Are you that hungry? I'm hungry. Don't worry, the food will soon be ready, okay? Okay. Oh, wait, oh, Una. I have been thinking. So Chimobi would have killed himself just like that, if not, I would stop him. Hmm. Then you don't know Chimobi. He would have been a dead person if not us. But in as much as he's going through a lot right now, I still haven't seen something that will make me take my own life. Well, everybody is not the same. But I just think that we need to keep a close eye on him so that he doesn't go and do any other for that stupid thing. We have to. We have to keep a very close eye on him. You know you're his friend and you have to watch over him. He's like a brother to us, you know. 
I'll try my best. I I'll try my best. You have to. No. Hmm? Wait. So, if you were in his position, would you have done the same thing? Me? Kill myself. No one out of believe like a man now. I won't too. Hmm. You know you're my only brother. I can't afford to lose you now. Not now. You or Chimobi. I don't want to lose you. Gods of my ancestors. Why my son? Why he allow that monstrous husband of mine deceive me into doing the path of destruction? Now he no longer listens to me. This is not the future I hoped for. I've always looked up to my son as the only person that wipe away my tears by doing what is right when he becomes a king. But all I can see through him now is reflection of his evil father. A man I never loved. Thank you so much for your hospitality. Your Highness, you don't need to thank me. I am so honored to have you in my house. You're welcome. No, no. Um, without wasting further time, let me introduce your know who Fahim Monaki. No, I did you. No. Um, my son here, Prince Njoku, is right for marriage. So it is an opportunity for me to express my love for this kingdom. So I decided that my son will marry for me to the kingdom. I have met your king, Igwenwoye. I would have loved my son to marry from his household. But unfortunately, he has no daughter. He asked me to look around his kingdom and make my choice. I have asked several questions. I have seen several girls. Young girls. Not one. Just one captured the attention of my son, the prince. And that person is your daughter. Your Highness. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. This, this is a dream. <laughs> hey, buddy, this is a dream. Your Highness, this is a dream. <laughs> Are you telling me that my daughter, Gochungam, found favor in the eyes of the Prince of Arumana, your son? Yes. <laughs> no, somebody, somebody to wake me up. I am dreaming. No, you are not dreaming. This is a dream. It's somebody true. to wake me up. Mazin Zubay. Here, Aboro. Mazin Zubay. Your Highness. He's not dreaming. You are not dreaming. Hey. Yes. Please sit down. <laughs> For me to come here, it shows that I have something very important that I want from you that will make my son to be happy and for the progress of our kingdoms. Hey, your highness, you are welcome. You are welcome. Oh no, you are welcome. My prince, you are welcome. Hey! I am overjoyed to have you. Thank you. You are welcome. You go, go and call Gochi mom for me. Go and call her. Hey, she's not yet back. Hey, she, uh, she's no. not yet back. No, 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 no. no. We're not in the haste. We will go and come back another day to see her. Hey. Yes, hey. I, I will come back. Hey. Your Highness. Your Highness, may your dreams be lost. Thank you. Go, go, go. 
He gave my young daughter the only daughter of her mother. Where have we been having such an all over for me? I'm not sure you're praising me like this. Ugom, am I not supposed to praise you? You are my only daughter, my only hope. Go to the stream to fetch me. Okay, you are welcome. Ugom, can you believe the people that came here today? Which people? Igbe Elendo of Alumona Kingdom. Came here with his son, Prince Injoko. Hey! Ha, ah, have they gone? Yes, they have gone. Uh, what are they looking for? My daughter, they came to ask for your hand in marriage. Hmm? Yes, and the prince was so interested to have you as his wife. Oh, mama, no, that would be possible. It's impossible. What is that will not be possible? Eh? Ugum, are you blind? Eh? Why won't it be possible? Ugo, do you know whom we are talking about here? The prince of Alomona Kingdom. Yes. Mama, have you forgotten? Have you forgotten? Forgot what? Ugo, do you want us to remain in this poverty? Eh? Do you? I will never marry him and that is fine now. Eh? You will never do what? Ugo? Ugochi, what does that mean? Eh? Meaning what? What nonsense are you talking about? Eh? Nekwanya, don't provoke me. Act as from me. Calm down, my husband. Huh? It hasn't gotten up to the point of shouting. It has gotten above the point where I will shout. Eh, where, why, why, why won't I shout? Why would this this idiot tell me that you will not marry the prince? Oh, wait a minute. Because I don't love him. Uh uh. But how can you suggest me to marry a man I don't love? Look at you. Beautiful ego that feeds on toad. By the way, what do you know about love? What do you know about love? Enough to know that you can't have it for any man that just came to ask for your hand in marriage. Is that for me that I love and he's the one I want to marry? Will you shut that thing you called man? Shut it up! Look at you. Let her talk. She has got him up to why would you talk? Just look at the way your daughter loses. Look at it. Let me ask you. Who is that for me? Son of a papa. Mm. A nobody. Mm -hmm. eh? why, 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 would even, why would you even consider Afam in place of the prince? A royal blood. Love, papa. Love is what made me choose him over every other man that came around. Is that for me that I love? And he's what I'm going to marry, period. Ugochi. Okay, will you come back here? I said, come back here. I better wait. You let hey. her go. Yeah. Look at that girl. She has the guts to walk out on me. Imagine. Nah. Imagine. Eh? Look at you. Go and talk to her. I will. Because as far as I am concerned, Uzube, she is joking. Oh yeah, no, all the people please. Oh yeah, there. Yeah. I will. I will, man. I will. Huh. What is it? What is it? Why are you crying? My parents. Your parents? <laughs> you want to give me out another man in marriage? Another man? But you agreed they will wait till I'm fully prepared. I don't know the reason for the sudden change of mind. The worst part of it is that the person is even from this kingdom. The prince of Alumino kingdom. The prince? If 
food is ready. How can you be talking about food when your daughter that left here since she has not returned? No, I don't know where she has gone to. Exactly my point. And you are not bothered. You need to go with me. Eh? No. Maybe she went to Olako's house. I forbid that name in this house. You know what I mean? I forbid that name in this house. I want my own car. I live like. That boy should stop seeing my daughter. He must stop seeing my daughter. And I'm going to warn him. He should stop seeing my daughter. Then okay. Come back here. Come back here. Stand here. Where are you coming from? I want to see Afam. Afam for one one. Ugochi. Asma Afam for one one. Let this be the last day you will see that boy. I will go to tell him I said he cannot have you. A prince has asked for your hand in marriage, and that settles it. Papa, he is the one I want. Mechiano, will you shut up your mouth? Mechiano, da. Eh, I ne kuko do ni shire ba apua. Eh, kisi nu nagi na nagi piko. You don't know you ne ku. Eh, ezuzu. Oh, why fe ne megi? Eh, Ugochi. Oh, why fe ne megi? I don't know, but I na chipo. Ugochi. I will not warn you again. I will not warn you again. The next time I see the two of you together, that day, you will know the kind of heart your father is made of. Yes! I'm going to get out of here. Out! Go, Mama, the Yahoo. I'll say, I'm going to. You have not touched it. Ever since yesterday, you have been like this. Okay, Nimon. What is the problem? Mama, I'm not happy. Of course, I know you are not happy. I know you are not happy, my son. Eh? But why? Why are you not happy? Mama, somebody is trying to take Ugochi away from me. And I'm afraid it's somebody I may not do anything to stop. Somebody is trying to take Ugochi away from you? in this village that does not know that Ugochi is your wife to be? Huh? Are her parents aware of this? They are aware and they give the prince their support. The prince? Did you just say the prince? The prince of Alumona is seeking for her hand in marriage. And he came with his parents and they give him their support. Hey! Gods of our land. Hi! My son, in that case, you have to hands off her. Uza Gareba, cha 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 cha. Hey! Mama, how can you say a thing like that? Can you fight the Prince of Alumona? Yes, I am asking you. Can you fight the Prince of Alumona, my son? My son, I know that this is difficult for you to do. But you see in life, whatever that you cannot have, you have to let go. Mama, see, no. it's not possible. Okay. I love her and she loves me too. No, why can't the prince just back off and let us be? Afamifuna. Afamifuna. Let her go. Let her be. You cannot have her. Enough. You cannot. Enough of all this, Mama. What is all this? Is it because you are poor? See, nobody will take her away from me. Afam! Afam! My prince, you are welcome to my house. Thank you, sir. No. Yes, sir. And how is your father? 
the great hero of Aramona Kingdom. He's fine, sir. Ah, very good. Um, where is my princess? Oh, she's washing cassava chips behind the house. Let me go call her. Right. <clears throat> that reminds me, I have a very fresh Ongwerwala. Can I get some for you? It is your father's favorite. Uh, no, I, I don't need that. I will drink some other time. Are you sure? Let me see my princess first. It's okay. I'll be right back. Ugo! Ugo, Jimwam! Ugo, Mam! My prince. So you, I can't find her. She was washing behind the house, washing Kazaba behind the house, but now she's not there. But Mazin Zubay, you said your daughter is around. Yes, my prince, she was washing Kazaba behind the house. I, 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 I didn't know she has left. Hey. Mazin Zubay, my prince. You know, this is an insult to my person. I don't like this. Because I traveled the way from my kingdom. To see my princess, and you're telling me she's not that kind. It's an insult to my princess. Uh, prince, please accept my apology. Uh, listen, I'm to take my leave. My, my, my prince, Biko, accept my sincere apology. Please tell your daughter I need to see her. We have to talk. She will hear. Biko, seriously, I don't like this. It's, it's an insult to my person. Biko, accept my sincere apology. In fact, I will surely talk to her when she comes back. Biko, Bagada. Uguji, come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Where are you coming from? I went to see Asa. Asa for what one? Uguji, Asa for what one? How many times did I want you not to see that boy again? Eh? You were watching Kasawa behind the house. And the moment you sighted the prince, you disappeared. I didn't know he came. How dare you lie to me? Eh? Gucci. You know what? Leave my house. Get out now! You can't send her out of the house just like that. Please, I'm pleading. I'm pleading. Okay. I'm pleading. Okay, man, you need free from the Kudi Haka with you. Eh? I cannot stay under one roof with a disobedient daughter. She has to go. Go and pick your things and leave my house. Because, because I'm still pleading. We will discuss this later. Because, because now, let's go Come over here. Come and sit down here. Hey, Ebere. Ebere. Ugochi. Ugochi. You should respect yourself in this house. Hmm? You should respect yourself in this house. We want the best for you as your parents. Hmm? Stop this madness. You should stop this madness because I will never, ever plead on your behalf again. Do you understand me? Yes, Mama. Do you get me? Good. Hey, hey, I'm looking at you. Come back here. Sit down here. Let's have it. Where are you going, Jack? I'm going to find my. What's the matter, Mama? Who got you? Mama. How are you? I'm fine, Mama. It's like How you're coming you from the stream. Yes, Mama. I decided to fetch water for you. Hey! You go to, you go to. As usual. Is it going to be? But you shouldn't have bothered yourself. Eh? 
have a lot of water in the house. Okay. All the same. Thank you. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Go and drop it in that pot over there. This one here is filled up already. Eh? Okay, mama. Ugochi, Ugochi. <laughs> hey! Ezibo mwa. Chai. Always being nice. Mama, where is that one? Mm. Mama, where is Afam? Afam? Mm. Afam went hunting. Mm. Yeah. Um, my daughter, mm. Afam told me that the Prince of Alumona came to seek for your hand in marriage. Is it true? Yes, Mama. But I told her I will not marry him. Is, is that for my own? I know, my daughter. I know you want Afam. I want our family to marry you too. Let my daughter. Royalty. Royalty is involved. Mama, I don't want anything to happen to my son. I don't want trouble. Because as it is right now, my son's life is being threatened. Mama, I've told my parents I will not marry the prince. Is it that they accept my, my decision or deliver it? My daughter, like I said. I don't want to talk. Yes. I don't want anything to happen to my son. Eh? I think you have to consider leaving my son for the prison. Oh? Yes! Because I guess it's the will of the gods. Mama! Hmm? I'm surprised at you. Not after all I've shared with your son. Well, I'm sticking with him no matter what. My daughter, I am. It's not my fault. It's just that I am scared. I am scared. I don't know what to do. I don't know what else to say. I don't want trouble. Eh? You have to understand with me. You don't understand. You don't understand it at all. Greetings, my in-law. Africa. What do you want in my house? Um, I'm just coming from the farm, so I decided to bring this for Ugochi. Africa. You brought PS for Ugochi. Oh. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Serious-minded in-laws visit their in-law with Anombat. And or at least in Chi. Your own is in bed. Afam, take it to your mother. Because Ugochi doesn't need it. Ah, nine. What's the problem? Oh, you're asking for stuff. So she has not told you. She told me, and, and I just want to know why you suddenly forgot my intentions of marrying your daughter just because of the prince. Oh, it's very simple, my dear. Very, very simple. Royalty is what I now need in my household. And the gods has now been bought me by the prince chosen my daughter so so royalty is now the same as happiness exactly now you're talking like <laughs> one thing. everlasting happiness is what it brings unlike poverty that brings perpetual agony i don't want to see you in my house again my daughter is married to the prince get that into your dick skull now get out. This is not fair. This is not fair. It's not fair, man. Take that. Take the prayer to your mother. Don't come here again. My daughter is married.
the statue. He does he don't look happy, my love. What is it? Don't tell me you're still bothered over the prince's proposal. I'm more than bothered. I'm just coming from your house and I met your father. He wants me to stay away from you that we can never be together. He lied and you know it. Your father was mean with his words and I'm heartbroken. I assure you, I will never spend the rest of my life doing what I'm going to accept you. My father has no right to indicate who I'm married. He's your father. He will make life miserable for us if you disobey him. Okay. Then get me pregnant. What? I'm mistaken and old. I need something to hold on to. Okay. Let's take a note. I promise my father I will never impregnate my wife until after marriage. Okay, let's take a note. Let this serve as a bond between us, which can never be broken by any form of pressure. understand why your daughter don't want to see me. I've been to your house three times now. Honestly, I don't like the disappointment you're getting now. I don't. And where did you say she went? To fetch ordinary firewood since morning. Uh, please, can you wait a little? No, 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 I don't have that patience. I'm, I want to go hunting with my friends. Oh. My friends, here's your jewel. How are you, my dear? I'm fine. Ugochi, what kept you? Since morning, to fetch this little fire. No, 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 no. Don't shout about that. Another thing. Come, let me get you with me. I'm sorry, who are you? Ah. To go to what, what kind of question is that? You don't know him? This is Prince Njoko of Haromona Kingdom. The man that came to ask for your handing in marriage. That's him. You haven't told him what I said yet. Tell him what. What are you talking about? Since you're afraid of telling him, I'll tell him myself. And, um, Prince Njoku, please, with all due respect, I'm not interested in marrying you. I've told my father several, after hearing of your proposal, my answer has been no, and we always meant no. Please. I have someone else in my life. His name is Afa. When you go out there, you see someone else to get married. I'm not going to marry you. Please. Thank you. And I'm sorry. My friends, please. Please, go wait. She, she didn't mean it. I can talk senses to her. Oh, you're My prince, just calm down. I will talk senses to her. Son, I was told you refused the maidens and guards 
coming close to you after coming back. What is the matter? I'm sorry, Father. I need to be left alone. No. No, son. You don't need to be left alone. Boiling with sadness. When you have I, your father, to listen to. What is the problem? Father, I went to see the best daughter today. That girl does not want to marry me. Did you meet her this time around? Yes, I did, Father. She told me to stay away from her. She insulted me. What? Did you say this to her father? Her father was there when she said it. Father, that girl does not want to marry me. I've seen it. Then, there must be a problem. Did she give you any reason? None, Father. Hmm. Her father. There must be a reason behind this, son. Just leave me alone. She is leaving my house today. You want me to send it to fire? I'm begging you. Because my yogi. Was it not in your presence that I want this girl? Never to leave this house without my permission. Yes. Yeah. And what happened? She flouted my orders. No, Bikoni. Bikoni, I'm begging you. I'm begging you, Bikoni. She is leaving my house. I Papa, don't... why? No. What's happening here? You're asking me questions. Eh? Bikoni. Eh? Bikoni. You're asking me questions. No. Why did she do that? You cannot forgive her. Ask her. Ask this idiot what she told the prince. Even in my presence. This girl wants to drag my name to the mall. She wants to drive the name of my family to the mall. That I will not have allowed to happen. So, Papa, it's because I told the priest I would not marry him. Is that why you're trying You me? did what? You refused to marry the priest? Oh, God, you did you do that? You said that? I, I better look at whom you are pleading for. You need to see how bold she was when she was talking to the prince. I felt so, so embarrassed and disgraced. The prince even left in, in anger. And you know what happened before? Trouble. I mean, double trouble. Hey! Ugochi! If one of you, you have killed me! Ugochi! Are you mad? Eh? Are you mad? Ugochi! What is happening? Ugochi should leave my house now. I cannot have a disobedient daughter under my roof. Hey, never! Ugochi! Hey, I want to fight, Papa. If you say I should leave your house, no problem. But I will never marry the prince. Hmm? I'm in love with Afam, and that's not mine. Did you hear that? Hey! Did you hear her? Ugochi, come here! Ugochi, come back! Leave her, let her go. Man, go where? Where did she know? she like. Let's hey, go. go where now? Where did she know? I don't the care. The only hope I have on earth, I will go after her. I bet if you go with her, remain there with her. Don't yes, yeah, yeah, no, okay. I'm going with my daughter. Yes. I am going after her. Don't come back here again, no. I will not. Remain in your father's house. Yeah, no. Alu Gochi. Gochi, where do you think you are going to? Where? Mama, leave me, let me be. You have a place. Do you have a place? Why do you care, Mama? Since you and Papa have decided to throw me out of the house because of the man I refused to marry. Let me go to somewhere I'll be welcome now. Where is that place? It's not your concern, Mama. Gochi, you know you are my only child, my only daughter. Hey? I, will not, I, will not, I won't let you go now. Let's go back home. Please, I beg of you, let's go back home. Mama, your husband doesn't want me in his house. Let me go somewhere, leave me alone, leave me. I don't want to leave Nobody. me. I'm Mama, just... leave me, I'm not going. I don't want to follow this house again. Please, please. Mama, leave my me. Daughter. You are my only daughter. Your Highness, please accept my sincere apology for my daughter's misguided or transistor son. Honestly, I feel disappointed and, dis and, and ashamed. Bikubara. My son, the prince, has not been happy ever since then. I know. I deeply regret and deserve to be punished for putting that young man through such pain. It's alright. 
I came here because it is obvious that your daughter must have strong reasons for refusing my son. Is she around? Yes. Let me call her. Well, don't worry. Since my son, the prince is not with me here. But you are not going to tell me that you do not know the reasons behind your daughter refusing my son. I suggest you tell me about it now. Um, uh, <clears throat> your Highness, I am sorry I did not tell you this the first time it came. It's just that there's this son of a papa, a nobody. He is in my daughter's life and he has planned to marry her before your son showed up. Now I know. Who is this boy? Your Highness, like I said before, he is a nobody. What is his name? I have warned him to stay away from my daughter, but my problem is the kind of grip he has over her. I, I, I don't seem to understand it. Mm. Mm. Since two men are interested in your daughter, I suggest we organize a wrestling contest for them. Wrestling contest? Yes. You had me well. No, no, Your Highness. Yeah, that would be necessary. Uh, Uguchi is my daughter and I can influence her. In fact, she's bound to take my bidders. Oh no! Your daughter is a full grown woman. Her marriage to my son should be based on fairness. Mazinzube, my son must struggle. To win her from the man of her heart. Anyone who wins should take her as his wife. Are you comfortable with this? Are you? Enough. Oh, luck. Uh -uh. A very my friend. You are welcome to my house. Sit down. Uh, uh, tell you. Where is my daughter? Where is she? I'm your nurse, sir. Your daughter is not here. Calm down. Hola, I have warned your son severally to stop seeing my daughter. But you couldn't listen. Eh? Um, Ebere, I heard of the prince. And I've already warned my son to hands off. To, to hands off your daughter. He will. Eh? Just calm down. Please. Ola, I have come to warn you. And this is my last warning. If I see your son near my daughter again, Ola, I will report you to Ibe. Hi, Ibe Konono. Yes, and you know what it means. I know. You know that Ibe will not be happy to see or hear your son threatening the peace of us. And the alumni of people. You know that. Because, uh, oh, Biko, I beg you, mm. don't report my son. He's all I have. Don't report my son to the evil. I beg you. And you know very, very well that he will be an enemy of our people if we stop my daughter marrying the prince. I know. I beg you. I will talk to him. Don't report my son to the evil. Warn him. I will. Yes. 
Kochi is more was here. And she threatened to report you to the Igwe for not leaving her daughter alone. Hey! What if that was a lie down to you? Have I done to you? What have I done to you, a poor widow like me? What have I done to you? What wrong have I done to you? Why is your stubbornness causing me pain? Why? Why have I been fooled? What, Mama? Why would she report me to the Igwe? Is it not a crime to love someone? It is a crime, son, yes. It is a crime to love someone so desired by the prince. Yes, my son. It is a crime. <laughs> So rich and powerful enough to wipe you out of the surface of the earth, my son. It is a crime. Mama, I don't care about his riches or affluence. Why can't you just understand that I love this girl? I can't let go of her. Then be ready to face the king. Yes, be ready to face the king. And let me tell you, the king will not be happy to hear that you are the stumbling block between the prince of Alumana and the woman he so desired as a wife. Let her go. Mama, I'd rather leave this kingdom with the woman I love than to be forced to let go of her. Yes, he was here. And what did you tell him? At first I was scared. I was very scared because I know his son must have told him how your stupid daughter insulted, disappointed, and spoke to him. With you. Where is your Igwechi now? I don't know where she went to. Igwe Lendu was here, and after explaining and apologizing, you know what he asked me? He said, What are the reasons why your stupid daughter doesn't want to accept his son's proposal? And I told him it was because of the son of one, one, one pauper, a nobody. I'm um, pestering her life. Nine. Did you mention his name? Yes, now. How would I call his name? I told him it was that farm. And for, for that reason, <laughs> he will decided to do a wrestling bout between Afam and the prince. A wrestling contest? Uh, uh, yes, so. Mm. And whoever wins marries my daughter. And that makes me a member of the royal household. I know it. Uh. That's exactly what you want. <laughs> Father, a wrestling contest? Yes, my dear. Huh. I, I don't know why you reached such a decision without informing me. I said it's the noble thing I can think of. Well, Father, I'm sorry I am not wrestling with anybody. Sorry. Because you're my father. Not just my father, you're the king of this kingdom. You have the power to punish any man who stands on my way, not organize a wrestling contest for us. Come, son. Violence has never been known as a solution. There is one challenge for every man, and that is getting the right woman by his side as a wife. And if wrestling is it, then you have to... Have to. Matter, I am not wrestling with anybody. Son, do you really need the wife? Yes, I do. Then if you do, you have to fight. You have to wrestle because you are the head warrior of this kingdom. Why are you telling me, son, that your feet have suddenly turned jelly? Never. Father, I am the warrior. I am a warrior! I am still a warrior, father! I am a warrior! Then you have to fight, son! You have to fight! If you are the warrior! What are you still doing, Asa? Yes, my At least, at least, let's go in. The night is still too cold. I don't want to enter inside that room. I just want to be inside him die. I just want to die. You want to die? Why? Eh? Why are you doing that? I can 
not have to hear him at all. To marry you, you defeat the prince. Hmm? Mama, why have I even agreed for the wrestling competition? What stopped you from telling you were angry that I refuse to marry this son? You are making things too difficult for yourself. Huh? You know your father wants the best for you. Hmm? As you want to be the wife of him, you can pray. Pray for him. You understand? Put him in your prayers. Yes, it might work. But as for me, I don't think it's I pray that the prince marries you. Yes, if he marries you, eh, our whole life will be changed. Mama, go inside the room. Get back to see your husband. You're here. Sit. Mama? 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 Uh, my son. My father-in-law. Shut your mouth up. Which you go up? Who is your father-in-law? Nice, you are welcome. Hey. Now you're the Panama. I hope all is well. Now listen to the two of you. I have come here to pass a message across to the two of you. I have told the Lendo about you, Afam, and how you have been disturbing my daughter. Hey. Hey, Chimo. Manny, please. I hope my son, his life is safe. I begged your wife not to report to I have not finished the woman. Igwe Lendo, in his mercy, has decided to organize a wrestling bout between your son here yeah, and uh, you, uh, the prince of Armona. The wrestling game, Whoever wins takes my daughter for a bride. But my joy knows no bound. <laughs> Each time I remember that. The, the, the prince of Arumona is not just a wrestling champion, but you call it the chief warrior of his kingdom. You see? Your dream of having my daughter is like that of Ronyeba. I've heard you. You've heard me? Yes. You're not disturbed? Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. Okay, one, one more thing. The wrestling comes up in two days. And until then, if I see you anywhere around my daughter again, eh, I will not only castrate you, I will call it circumcise you the second time. Don't let me worry again. I see I'm going to the farm. Uh -huh. I overheard my father saying he's visiting your house this morning. Uh, yeah, he came to the house. He told us everything. He said he doesn't want to see us together. That's impossible. I've told him that whatever decision he has reached with Iwe Lendo has nothing to do with me. Never! I'm not even scared to wrestle with the prince. What? <laughs> no, don't say that one. I've forgotten that the prince of Alumona Kingdom is also a head warrior. I don't I don't care. See, I I, I just want to fight for you. No.
Afamefuna, is this what you want? Afamefuna, what are you talking about? You mean you want to rest only with the prince of our new mother? Hey, don't do this, my son. So don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Yes, mama. I have to fight for the woman I love. You want to be disgraced publicly? Is that what you want? My son, is that what you want? Why don't you back out of this competition and save yourself some respect? Hey. Mama, the Prince of Alumina is a man like me. I will oh. wrestle with him. He's trying to maintain his honor as a warrior while I'm trying to keep the woman I love very close to me forever. My son, you stand no chance here. Yeah. He will definitely defeat you. Hey! Let's go back out, please. Stop telling me this, Mama. Stop! Hey. Okay, see. Why don't you just leave? Leave good way anywhere, anywhere. Leave this village. In order to avoid the press and the father the king. I beg you. Oh, Biko. Biko, Mama. Leave. I don't want trouble. No, Mama. I'm not a coward. I can never be one. Oh, give me one more. Half a minute, Don't do this, oh. Don't do this. Hey, half a more. Half a more. Wrestling. I don't know why they want me to wrestle before I get married to this young man. Uh, wrestling, my prince. That sounds interesting. I told my father I am not interested in wrestling with anybody. Why he insisted? But I don't see anything wrong with wrestling for the woman you love. Or are you afraid of the young man she's in love with? I am not afraid of anybody. I fear no one. I'm sorry, man. Okay, now I am not afraid of anybody. I'm sorry. The young man in question is not even a wrestler. That makes it more simple. Winning that young man will be the simplest thing I will ever do in my life. Challenging. I don't know why they want it to look like a challenging thing to get that young lady to be my wife. No. I don't know why my father want me to disgrace that young man in public. I don't know why. But I think he deserves the disgrace. And since he wants to challenge you, let him face the disgrace. My daughter, you are welcome. Thank you, Mama. Sit down. Come and eat. Mm. Yes, food. The yam is so nice. It's very sweet. Mm, I prepared it myself. You like it? Mm. 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 Thank you. I'm eating. 
Mama, where is that from? Mama has gone to the farm to get the farm funds for the goat. Oh, okay. Mama, you carry bag. Where are you going to? Mama, I need to see her from now. I need to see her. I know you want to see her from now, but you have not answered my question. What are you doing with the bag? When I come back, I will tell you everything. Okay. Please. Okay. So, which way did he go to? Uh, he took that way. This way. He went down to Togo. Okay, okay. And okay. um, <clears throat> when I come back, I'll tell you everything. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. What's the problem? We have to leave this village now. This is the right time for us to leave. What's the meaning of that? I know you don't stand a chance with the Prince of Alumna Kingdom. I'm sure he's on his way to this village for the wrestling. So I think this is the perfect time for us to leave this kingdom. Maybe if we can take the road to Okisi River, then nobody will see us in here. No. I refuse to run away with you. We can't defeat Prince of Alumna Kingdom. We have to leave you. I'm not a coward. See, I love you so much and I have to fight for you. You can't fight with him. So better leave. Please, I beg of you. I beg of you. This is the best time for us to go. See, I have my bag. I have my bag with me. See, if we run away from this village, we will put the lives of our parents in danger. You know, they might be punished till we return. Please, I promise you. Who is there? Who is there? No uh, one. Mm -hmm. I I hope one is well. Uh, Where is your son? He's going to the farm to get palm fronts for the for the goats. His presence is needed at the village square now. Hey. The prince of Alomona is there waiting for him. The prince? Yes. What? Go and fetch him now. Like I said. The prince should not be kept waiting. So go and fetch your son. Go and fetch your son! Let's go. Oh, my God. 
Stand up, stand up and go with your husband. You're keeping him with him. Eh? My dear daughter, listen. Chica goes in one Go and enjoy. Enjoy very well. Hey, and you can go. Hmm. My prince, I am overjoyed to have you take my daughter. Eh? Ozim Lobi, for all of us. <laughs> I also want to go, I also want to go, 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 go. My dear, go, chiga gozi wobi. Go and enjoy, and I will enjoy it too. Mazin <laughs> Zube. Uh, my prince. I'm happy to. <laughs> my father and I will be here to show appreciation. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Safe journey and my regards to him. And please, take care of her. I know. Go. Chiga go the go. Don't worry. Are you happy with him? Is he one? Oh, it was yeah. This man is full of pretense. Do you want to cry yourself to death? Yeah, it has happened.
Where is she? We couldn't find her, my friend. And we have searched almost the whole community and she's nowhere to be found. And what do you mean by you couldn't find her? What do you mean? What incompetent guards my father keeps here? We are sorry, my friend. You're sorry? Where's my father? He's having a meeting with his cabinet. He's having a meeting with his cabinet. I need to talk to him. I need to talk to him! Oh. Mm -hmm. I need to see him. I've not seen him. My daughter, I don't know where he is. I don't know. Ever since you left him for the prince, he has not been himself. Ugochi, Mama. Don't tell me you left the palace just to come and see my son. Mama ran away from the palace. I'm here to leave this kingdom with you to a far distance. Ugochi, that is very risky. That is very risky. Mama, you can't do that. Mama, I've made up my mind. Since I cannot live the rest of my life with the man I love, I've decided to take whatever that comes out of the decision. My daughter, I am as confused as you are. I don't know what to say for now. All we have to do is to look for Afan. 
let him come back so that we can know his next line of action. Oh, please sit down, eh? You're welcome. Let me bring down the food. Mm -hmm. He's ready, eh? life of mystery all in the name of marriage even my parents that pushed me to this so far in the hands of the same man I'm married to a man they saw as savior brought doom to them please my ancestors please don't allow my soul to tow his path please I will give anything to see that he's a much better person than his father. Anything, my princess. I need you to take me on a fighting stunt training again. My princess, you need to rest after what has happened. I cannot rest until I avenge the death of my parents. When do you want it? Today. I will go and get my sword. The people of Alumona must pay for causing me perpetual pains. Then I will see you at the feed. Thank you. Let us resume, my princess. I'm really tired. I need to rest. You have rested enough already. No, I need some more time to rest. I would love to do the same. But we have a mission to accomplish. And before we do that, we do not have to surrender ourselves to slumber. Do you think we can achieve this? There is nothing impossible for the gods. Mm -mm. Please, I would appreciate it if you don't mention their name. I'm not happy with the gods. They have failed us. Everything in life happens for a purpose. And I believe we will rise again one day. And before we do that, we have to prepare ourselves and surrender to the will of the gods. You inspire me a lot, Amoma. Thank you for being there for me. Okay, let's get back to work. Ah! Ah! Yeah! Focus is the utmost requisite to winning a war. Focus 
on your victory and allow the gods to win your sword in every battlefield. <laughs> so, what do you suggest, my daughter? You know he needs to be on the right path. I think he needs a wife. Mm-hmm. Get him a wife. You know, we women, we know how to compel a man to do what we want. So I think that will help him. <laughs> May the gods bless the day you were born into this household. You know, I have thought about that. And now that you're saying it, my goodness, our spirits always work together. Mm -hmm. Like father, like daughter. <laughs> indeed, indeed, indeed. All right. I will discuss it with Ubingwa first. Though he doesn't have a choice. <laughs> Igwen Joko. Omeka Ago. Father, you know you will always remain my father. If I should come into this world ten times, I will be honored to be part of your generation. And I am blessed and honored to have you as my daughter. Hmm, Igwe. You are blessed, my daughter. Papa, has the princess shown any form of remorse over what she did? Uh, yes. But she is still hell-bent on avenging her parents' death before she could ascend the throne. Papa, most times I wonder why she makes some drastic moves without consulting anybody. Papa, that could endanger her life someday. Hmm. Namde, she is doing the right thing. She is doing the right thing. So don't blame her. But Papa, will you people still allow her to go on that mission of avenging her parents' death? <laughs> My daughter, it's like you people try to be forgetful. I keep telling you that she's a replica of her father. Like father, like daughter. She does whatever she wants when it comes to taking decisions. As it is now, no matter who talks to her, she will only do what she wants to do. Nobody stops her. Hey, Papa, we have to pray so that the gods will be with her. Papa, let's just pray. Yes, Papa, you, you have to stop her from going for such risky mission. She's a woman. I have told you, only the gods can stop her. <laughs> Your Majesty. My son, sit down. Thank you, Your Majesty. You sent for me? Yes, I did. Do you want something to drink? No, I'm fine, Your Majesty. How about joining me? Your Majesty, I was actually enjoying myself behind. Oh, oh. Okay. <clears throat> I have been worried about your loneliness. You complained to me. And I think what you need now in your life is a wife. A wife? Yes. You need a wife to feel that emptiness and satisfy your quest for warmth. Your Majesty, I think you are the person who should be looking for a wife since Her Majesty left the palace. Son, I have lost interest in women. But you need a wife to warm your bed at night. Your Majesty, first you gave me concubines. 
Now, why do you want to give me a wife? Because I need something more permanent for you at this point in your life. Very soon you'll take over from me. <sighs> your Majesty, uh, I don't think I need it soon. Because I'm not ready for it. Maybe <laughs> later. <laughs> Son, I understand your fears. But you must learn to overcome them. You were born to rule. And there's nothing that can change that. Sitting on this mighty stool of power is a thing of bliss, I must confess. You must learn to face your fears and overcome them. Your friend, your friend, our friend, our friend, what? Your friend, Chimobi. Chimobi! He has killed himself. Eh? What? He hung himself to death. Ah! Where? Where did it happen? His body was seen along this room this morning. on my children can somebody talk to me it's chimobi papa what about chimobi papa chimobi hung himself what papa chimobi is dead hey hey Arremeno. abomination hey Oh, how I wish Asakwe is alive to see himself what he has caused to his family. Greed! Greed! And you go. You 
you are with a gift, my princess. A gift? Yes. Idea, the gods of our ancestors, endowed you with Abele. A supernatural power that manifests only when your anger has enjoys to rage. And it is in this world. Eh? <laughs> no wonder. I was practicing with this sword. Then suddenly I felt this strange power. And this only happens when you are seriously angered by an injustice method on you or someone close to you. What actually happened before this power engulfed you? Did you think of something? I thought of the gruesome murder of my parents. <laughs> 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 Most people don't realize they bear this gift until they die. Because nothing has spot such feelings from them yet. You are lucky to have discovered yours. Lucky? What is lucky about discovering that I have a strange power? It's a sign of hope for our people. And with this power, you can conquer all our enemies and restore this land. May the gods be praised because they have smiled on us. Princess, go to the palace and honor your father. Are you sure? Let me stay and fight them with you. No, Princess! Oh. Go and make us proud by bringing the head of Igwe and Choco. Go! <laughs> Amuma, I was informed you came with a party one of the warriors to fight my warriors. Hmm. Osikwe! We'll meet again face to face. Mm. Mm. And that will be the last thing. You will see, I will make sure that you and your princess never live to see the setting of the sun. <laughs> mm. Threats are like empty colors. When the penis gets erect, he looks as if he wants to penetrate the wall. The scene of the tongue is that thing that kills a flimpant one. <laughs> mm. And the illusion of bravery. 
is the one that takes the violent one. Yeah. What? Are for the fickle hearted. Let's get the one! You are walking into a dead trap. Ah! You wait. Let the cars kill her immediately. No, 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 no. Hey. I have seen this face before. I am Princess Olachi. The heir apparent to the throne of Ikoku. Oh, I see. You are here to avenge your father's death. <laughs> <laughs> and you came all alone. I want to be the only one you see before I send you and your cohorts to your ancestors. Ah. <laughs> I must say I admire your bravery mm. for embarking on this suicide mission all alone. Mm. Now listen to me, young girl. Drop your weapon and depart from here immediately. Your, 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 your Highness! You can't just let her go like that. She can't just go. No, 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 no. Let her be, considering how I dealt with her parents. Mm. She deserves to live for freeing my son. Mm. Young girl, leave this place and never come back. Go out of here. Yes. Yes. Your Highness. I suggest we get rid of this girl now before she becomes a problem to us in future. I am already a problem to all of you. Huh? Do not say I didn't give you a chance to leave. Father, what is going on here? Who is she and what does she want? Oforge's daughter. Hmm. She came to avenge her father's death. <laughs> Avenger. Kwani, grant me the honor to serve you, Pamwan, with her skull. Mm -hmm. hmm. Remember, I spared your life once. I am sorry, sparing your life again is a story you won't live to tell. Please don't kill me. Spare our lives. Please. Anything you want. Land, money, whatever you want. I will give it to you, but please, don't kill. Don't kill us. My father held your son in prison. So I took pity. You never returned that thing. You held my father and I pleaded with you. 
What's what did you do? Murdered him in cold blood. I'm sorry. Your father challenged me. Whatever score you have to settle with my father, I suggest you do it in the land of the dead. Let me give you a peaceful death. <laughs> and may I remind you that you stand upon the stand upon the skull of your dead warriors. And mm. also the skulls of your dead warriors. You talk too much of Seaway. You talk like a woman. But the mouth that pulls to quench the flames of elite that love will only get itself burnt. <laughs> I've been looking for you. And I have been waiting for you. You killed my father. The same way you killed my father, including my mother. Please. You will pay for this. I am prepared for you, obi one. Good. Because you're going to breathe your last breath. I am here to avenge my father's and death. And I am here to avenge the death of my parents.
told you you were going to pay with your dear life. I have come to avenge my father's death. Don't, my child. Princess, do it! Do it! Father! Mother! You're dead! My child, spare his life. Make your parents proud! He killed the both of you. He destroyed our kingdom. I need to avenge your death. Please, my daughter. Don't kill him. What about forgiveness? Yes, my child. Forgive him. It is only forgiveness that can heal all the pain he caused you and bring peace to your soul. How can I forgive this ungrateful animal? Please, my daughter. Don't kill him. I'm not proud of the kind of life I lived. And I don't want you to live that type of life. Forgive him. And forget. Please. Kill him! I don't deserve your forgiveness. I'm sorry for all the pain I've caused you. Please forgive me. influence I'm really sorry Tutun <laughs> 